Hi guys, welcome back to another video with your girl be Amy. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. So it looks like So Solid Crew's Lisa Mafia. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember the So Solid Crew days? Mm. Apparently she attacked a woman in a salon over straighteners. She appeared in court on Friday, so I'm gonna give you guys the details. Now this case is not new, however, I'm gonna give you the latest on that story. It is so crazy, guys. So Becca Allure hair salon owner claims that Lisa Mafia physically attacked her. Apparently this is over hair straighteners. I can't even deal. Let me just break down the details to bring you guys up to date. So the former So Solid crew member, Lisa Mafia, allegedly scratched Rebecca who is the owner after attending the shop in London with another woman and this was um, back in May and this is what the court heard so with all of the allegations Lisa did plead not guilty and this all happened um, at the Croydon Magistrates Court they heard that she and one other woman had confronted Miss Groves over the return of a hot comb hair straighteners sorry <laughs> I don't even mean to laugh, I'm so sorry, it's really not funny. Which she had been selling on Mafia's behalf. <sighs> it's hard times, boy. So apparently Miss Groves had been backed into the corner of the shop by the two women who had attempted to grab her phone as she tried to call the police. They burst in and they were being aggressive with her to the extent that she took out her phone and said she was going to call the police. So obviously the situation had escalated. This was all happening in a salon, okay? This was in London, yeah, a salon in London. I'm so... <laughs> okay, wait, I need to stop laughing. It's just like, I've got her eye in... I've got this hot comb iron in my house here yeah, and every time I say the word I'm just thinking about my hot comb iron I know like that thing actually means a lot but uh, this is this is <sighs> sorry guys let me just be professional really uh, apologies so she was supposed to be selling this item um she was they were ov obviously in the salon by the sound of it it sounds like they went in the salon with intent to confront now this is just me okay this is not facts okay these are alleged okay allegedly but by the sound of the report that's what happened guys we always know reports can always kind of be mixed and matched obviously she was really alarmed um, it seems that the phone was grabbed, she, it was taken off her and she received scratches to her arms and says she was hit a number of times. The defendant and the other woman, obviously Lisa, left the shop um, with her phone. Mr Tucker said that Miss Groves followed the pair outside and had been attacked again by the other woman who pulled... Oh Lord, okay, I'm so sorry who pulled her ponytail and punched her in the face. This is dramatic. This is crazy. The police were called. The police attended the scene. Later, they interviewed Lisa, who provided and prepared a statement for them. Then she refused to comment. In court, she seemed really upset throughout the whole proceeding and was supported by a friend. I can imagine, like, how, you know, upset she would be like this is massive this is crazy i'm not sure if during that time it was during covid and things should have been closed but apparently miss miss groves said that on the day of the incident her shop was closed to the public but she was doing a friend's hair of course you was darling of course you was because you know you in court and you can't be like my shop was open if it was supposed to be locked down she said the other woman who obviously hasn't been identified had to come into the shop first she said lisa then entered aggressively appearing frustrated and angry and then the hairdresser said to lisa a couple of seconds later lisa barged in through the door too lisa opened the door aggressively then walked straight in no hello nothing just where's my stuff now obviously guys like situations like that it's going to be each every what's, what's that word what's that saying each to their own every man for themselves you know at this point I think it's your word against mine apart from you know one witness but obviously they're going to make the situation seem like as bad as it can be like 
I got a couple of scratches, but no, they're not a couple of scratches. Look how my body's all scratched up type of situation. Miss Groves added that the woman has started to get closer and closer and tried to stop her finishing her friend's hair. I said I was going to call the police if they didn't leave. I didn't know what else to do, she said. I was very scared. They tried to stop me from getting my phone, but I grabbed it anyway and called the police. Luckily, they had a short video of the incident and heard extracts from the 999 call in which scuffles and shouting can be heard. So this is real, guys. This is a real deal, okay? This is a true story, y'all. Hi, yeah, yeah. Miss Groves said that she had followed the pair outside to retrieve her phone and had been chased into traffic by the other woman whilst Lisa held her phone. She said, I was scared for my life because the second woman was the more aggressive one to begin with. I tried to get the other side of the road, but I didn't make it because my ponytail... Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. That must have been one long ponytail. I can... Do you know what? Yeah, I can just imagine how cute and slick her ponytail was and my girl's snatching up my ponytail. My head was dragged down and at the time I believed I was punched in the face but now I believe I was kicked. Um, Wouldn't you know whether you've been kicked or punched? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. If you are in a proper scuffle, like, but there's bare people, sometimes it's a bit hard to tell whether you've been kicked or punched but unless you're on the floor i'm pretty sure you'll be able to tell whether you're kicked or punched so i don't know about that miss grove said that later as she was giving her statement to the police she received a call from the other woman who threatened to burn down her house and her mother's house she added that the incident had been traumatic and that she had and that she now found it difficult to leave her house. Now, this is an ongoing trial, guys. The trial still continues. This is absolutely insane. It's crazy. I can't believe it. Apologies. I'm really sorry for laughing. It's just a whole hot comb and me imagining my hot comb and then the whole ponytail and then me imagining, you know, how slick the ponytail could be. Like, I just laugh sometimes when I'm just, like, in shock or it's not necessarily that I find it funny, so please don't take offence to it. Um, like I said, it's ongoing. It's an ongoing case. I'm sorry. Um, guys, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. I'll speak to you guys in my next video.